Let me see brick poses so I can see what I look like. I'm about to be my kid. Hold on. We crunk lit in it, bitch. Yeah. I don't even know how to start it. <laughs> I don't even know how to get started. I'm just so excited and overwhelmed. Tell them what, where we are going, babe. We are going to the hospital. To have our baby. Today is June 24th. It's 3 o'clock. We have to be there to check in at 3.30. And then we're going to meet him in two hours. Man. It's so crazy. Um, the whole fact of like having to get like a scheduled C-section or whatever. is. I know the process is going to be like completely different than having an emergency c-section the reason behind the c-section is needed is because my body is just not equipped to having kids like my doctor said that my pelvic is too small probably why Layden didn't want to come down the first time prone to big babies genetics he ate pounds he yeah ate and a half. weighing eight and a half as of now we don't know until he really comes out what do you think he's gonna weigh i think he'll weigh like eight eight pounds Le ounces. yeah Layden was eight twelve I think he's gonna be. He's like eight six. He's gonna be eight because he. I think he's gonna be like seven fourteen or like eight five, between that. Yeah. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Here's the bump. Here's how we're looking. He's in there. He hasn't really been moving a lot uh, today. He's been sleeping. He like um. Stay up all night. Yeah, he stays up all night. So hopefully that changes when he gets here. I'm so excited. Like I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I think they're gonna make me so take nervous, off my chores. I'm trying to keep my composure though. Yeah. I'm so hungry and thirsty, y'all. I haven't been able to eat since seven this morning. They told me I can't eat or drink anything, not even water, with eight for hours. eight hours before. So I'm like starving. Um, I've been drinking a little water. I even know. You've been doing what? <laughs> we just got checked into the room. I think I'm gonna put my hair in a ponytail because I think. Why not put the camera there? Because you're not a YouTuber. I'm just kidding. I think that uh, they're gonna have hair nets on us, right? I don't know, it was so long ago I can't remember. This process is completely different, trying to like check in to a C-section, like a scheduled one. My teeth are hurting, I'm so nervous. They're making me pee in a cup and I haven't drinking or eaten anything in the last eight hours. I tried, ain't nothing coming out. How do you feel? Damn! How do you feel? I'm just like... I'm nervous. They said they're gonna come back in and do all the tests and everything. See if I'm gonna need blood when they uh, do my C-section. When Layden, I did have to have blood. Two, I'm two packs. I'm, nervous, bad. Bad. I'm having contractions though. They're not that bad. His due date is literally yeah, four days room. away. No, we're gonna be in the room. Now we're going to the room. Yeah, let me try to pee before they come back in here. Got our thing in. She pricked me twice in, in my whole wrists start swelling up. I was a little nervous. Um, they're about to give us, I guess, the hair nets. They told me to take off all my jewelry, but you know, I want to be cute in my videos. Now they're getting ready to come in. I'm on like the monitors and stuff hipped up. He does not like these little things. Like he keeps kicking it off. They keep having to come readjust. He don't like nothing touching him. Hopefully that changes. <laughs> but they're getting ready to come, um, I guess, sterilize my belly and everything. We got like what, like 30, like an hour left or so? Give or take until the doctor is supposed to be supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm nervous. Baby, he's trying to find TikToks. Okay, bet. Stand on that. I feel like, I don't know. I don't, oh, they take my blood pressure. I feel, I feel, I feel good. I feel very good. I'm happy to meet my son, you know? I'm so happy to meet him. I'm so nervous. I'm, I'm scared. Ooh, that thing got tight on my arm. Look, they got it strapped there. Hold on. Wait, my vagina. No, you can't see that. Uh, Ooh, they strapped up. He got his heartbeat beating over here. His little monitor right there, you know. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I'm really just excited for real, just to be a father for real, you know what I'm saying? Just to see my son. I think just I to finally see. meet him. I got, I got two car seats in his truck. <laughs> I got two car seats in my car. Y'all don't want to know, y'all want to know why? She don't drive, that's why. Cause he a dad for real. Who that is? That's just my baby dad. <laughs> like I said, y'all know I got that shit on me. <sighs> I'm strapped up, y'all. I'm laced up from the boots to the top. Literally. Y'all, I'm strapped up. No? Okay. 
Let me see, break pose so I can see what I look like. I'm about to be my kid, huh? You see me? <laughs> Why I couldn't wear my earrings? Oh my God, I'm about to be my son. <laughs> Hey man, say man. Did you tell them that nobody knows we're here? Yeah, nobody knows we're here, y'all. We've been lying to everybody. I know. Because they've been asking, like, is the baby here yet? And we know when the baby's gonna knew be here. We he was coming, but it was like, I kind of, like, we just wanted, like, a us moment. Yeah. So, like, no one be calling, oh, what's going on? What's happening? Like, making us more nervous, stressing us out. I'm glad that I just talked to Layden, though. Like, I just talked to him a little bit, the time that he gave me, because he's at. The dinosaur park. The dinosaur park, so yeah. But I can't wait to call him after I'm done and show him his brother. I know. <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm about to cry. I, I hope we come out chocolatey. I know, I love the brown baby. Uh huh. But no, I mean, uh, he's gonna be so yellow. He'll be chocolatey. My hair looks crazy. No, I don't look crazy. Wait, I still have this on? Yes. Oh, I thought you pulled it off. How are you feeling? Um, I just don't like the fact that I have shivers. How long are the shakes go until they go away? I don't know. How long are the shakes last? An hour or two. It's uh, just that hormonal shift your body's yeah. doing right now. It's normal. Just like my whole body tenses up. My mm -hmm. neck is yeah. If you think about it at all, if you focus on that, it's going to make it worse. I know. We are here. We had a baby. Where did we film mine? Like, what was the end of that? We don't know. Uh, Here, uh you got put so on a dresser. See. Look so you can see. When you were going out? No, no. The, last, the time? last time when you had put it on a thing, I was like, why did I put it up there? You remember? Oh, yeah. When you dressed out. Ding. Okay, so it's about 11 o'clock now. He was born five hours ago. Um, eight pounds, six ounces, 20 inches long. Big babies. Big babies in his genetics. But you guys, he is so handsome. I would say he looks like his dad. He does. And he's gonna be nice and chocolate like his daddy. He has so much hair. And I know, I know, I'm talking about you. He's so perfect, literally. Just seeing how happy Layden was to see him. Like, I really wanted to cry. I can't wait till Layden meets him. And he just hears his brother. <laughs> How do you feel, Daddy? I feel good, brother. Yeah. I was been waiting a long time for my stinker dad to come. Look at him. <laughs> He's already ate, what, three times? Two. Well, fully, yeah. The first one kind of, yeah. he just wanted, like, some comfort. Mm -hmm. So he's eaten twice. Well, I can feel when I'm peeing. That's not blood. I think that's blood. Yeah, he's latched twice by himself, which is, like, Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> like, he latches perfectly. Like, he been here before. <laughs> mm -hmm. He like, I've done this. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, don't give me that face. I'm worth too much for you. Yeah. You going back to sleep? I'm going to swallow him up right now. I'm going to swallow him up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to make a few more calls. I forgot. I got called the twins. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's a, just a little mini update. Me update, I can move my toes. I can move my toes. That's pretty much it. I can't really move my stomach area. Like it hurts really bad. You got an hour to get up though. Yeah, in an hour they want me to walk around. But like I can't feel my butt. And I can feel myself contracting though. Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. Like I can feel my uterus contracting, which is hurting a little bit. Like a scale of like four. Mm. Yeah, but I want him to be up a little bit and I talk to him. Am I able to like sit up more, Dr. Dad? Not yet. You gotta wait till you're able to get up, baby. Once mm -hmm. you get up, then you can sit up, but not right now. Well, you know you gotta I'm take that you gotta take that off July first. I know, this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can't eat anything and I threw up all of my juice. Everything. Yeah. So filled the whole bag. Now up. they have me back at square zero. Ice chips. Ice chips. And then after ice chips, well, it's an hour later, so now I can drink a little something. No. I'll give you guys another update. We have to be here for three days. Hopefully this is a good angle because I don't know what he's doing. I look good. Maybe come from like up a little bit. Y'all, I'm so tired. Being at the hospital and trying to sleep after a kid is not the thing to do because they come in here like every five minutes it seemed like. 
And then they want you to have a full conversation while they see that you're sleeping. Like, we got baby and daddy over there. I don't know if you guys can see them. But he's holding them. Is he waking up? Oh, he was just getting antsy. He's doing very well at breastfeeding, you guys. Right now, I just got woken out of my slumber. How long was I asleep, babe? That's it? My body's aching, y'all. My back is hurting. This hospital bed is not it. I would recommend bringing your own pillows and covers. Bring your whole house with you. <laughs> I said bring your whole house with you. Yeah, hopefully they discharge us tomorrow though so I can go home. Just be in the comfort of our own house with our baby. I love him so much, you guys. He's so perfect. We're still trying to decide who he looks like. Who does he look like to you, babe? Yeah, Aki said he looks like him, but I don't know. Like, it's really hard to tell. I felt like when he first came out, he looked like my little sister, Naya. Like, that's the first thing I said. Like, he just looked like Naya to me. I don't know. Like, I don't know who he looks like. He's just so cute. Some chubby little cheeks. Look at him. Extra. Extra because he's like light sensitive. He opens his eyes at nighttime when we have on like the dim lights. But like when the lights is bright and throughout the day, he is not messing with it. He does have a name. I kind of only seen his eyes fully open once, but that's okay. Oh, but is he hearing me talk? You can stay with that. Be too loud, y'all. Guys, as soon as you hear me, he be like, "Ooh, food, food." <laughs> but yeah, he's doing wonderful breastfeeding. Like he's latching amazingly. Um, so I know he's going to be all a big fat chubber soon when the milk actually comes in. Cause the way he's drinking this colostrum, that's only like drops every two seconds. Is this like? I really don't know what we've updated you guys on, what we told you. We got to decipher the clips, okay? There's a lot going on. So, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. Oh, we're about to do skin to skin with the babies. Oh. He doing skin to skin by himself. <laughs> I just love them. They're so cute. Oh, we're missing this lay. Oh, I wish Layden would have been here. If he would have started his summer break after we had him. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. I'm about to go back to sleep. I'm coming to y'all real raw and uncut. I'm tired, hold on. Something on my camera. Real raw and uncut, okay? I'm sorry if you hear the air. It's really hot in Vegas. Like it's been like over 110 degrees for the past three weeks. And we live on a third floor. It's real hot. I don't know where we left off at. As you can see, we are now home. We spent 42 hours at the hospital. I think with Layden, I was there for like three days, but I guess here they do two days. So they see that you're able to be discharged um, after you pass the little assessments that they give you like for C-section mommies. Um, you have to be able to walk around, eat, drink without being like nauseous, um, not hemorrhaging, um, being able to pass gas on your own, uh, did I say walk? Probably. Yeah. So once they see you can do all of those things, then they let you go there. You know, the mommies that push them out, you got 24 hours and you good to go home. And I'm like, oh my God, 24 hours. And then they just expect you to take care of a whole new life kind of insane yeah we are now home um it feels really good to be in the comfort of my own home you guys like them hospital beds tragic yeah i am doing good i'm able to move around it still kind of hurts here and there when i have to like get up out of the bed like lean as i'm like laying down to get him in the middle of the night but other than that pretty much fine my first like c-section recovery i feel like it went really well after a week or so i felt back to normal um this is what day two He's two days old it's only wednesday hey no it's thursday day three okay so day three i feel a lot better than yesterday that's what i will say like a lot a lot, lot, lot better than yesterday i'm able to walk a little faster today but i'm not trying to like over excel my body we did have baby's first doctor's appointment today just like you know the wellness check 
see if he's passing on his little milestones. He did lose um, some ounces after birth, which is normal. Um, but he's already back to his birth weight. And like I said, it's he's two days old. So he's back to his birth weight. I'm just trying to like throw in all of these updates for y'all because I'm not sure the last thing I said or even shown. So don't mind me if I'm speaking too fast. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will do like another updated video. You guys will see your internet nephew very soon. You guys, he's gonna be so chocolate. I was like, I just hope uh, he at least darker to me, you, you know? I just want a little chocolate, baby. He gonna be like daddy's color. Probably a little lighter, but he gonna be darker to me. His ears are so chocolatey, I'm like, just so brown and he just so cute. He has a lot of hair, you guys. But yeah, update, da -da -da -da. Milk is coming in, honey. I just had to pump for the first time. Um, only got like two ounces, but still, that's a lot to me. Considering that I didn't see any like colostrum up until he was born like I tried to pump uh at like 38 weeks nothing was coming out I was kind of nervous yeah so I pumped two ounces today got that in the freezer for just in case these I don't think I'm gonna do bottle yet because he is still trying to like get used to the nipples but he does latch very very well which I am amazed like he did that as soon as he came out breastfeeding is going well if you do decide to breastfeed get you this okay because this is like my best friend right now <laughs> Best friend right now, you need you some nipple cream. I literally, it go, it stay in my pocket. Like I'll be walking around the house with this. So my milk is in, like it ain't no more colostrum. It's milk, milk, they be leaking. I'm like, oh my God, they're already like engorged. They hurt. <sighs> so I think I'm gonna be uh, pumping more often. I'm gonna just start pumping when I feel like I can't take the pain. Exclusively breastfeeding at the moment. Hopes to do it until he's like almost one. Let's just see if I get further than Layden, okay? I stopped breastfeeding when, well I dried up with Layden at like six, seven months. So I'm just trying to get past that. I keep looking right here cause baby is over here laying down. You guys, like I said, you will see internet nephew very soon. You will know his name very soon. I think he kind of looks like me when I was a baby but it's giving very much so Aki. Like, he has ox like, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, the cheeks he get it from me for sure. He get that from my grandfather. Like, like them cheeks, for sure, my grandpa Jay. He kind of looks like Layden a little bit, but like, like this area, I don't even know how, he look like his daddy. Um, I'ma just have hopes that he look like me. Aki is in the room, I, like, he pushed out a baby. Y'all wanna see him? <laughs> you would think he pushed out the kid. I told him like taking care of other people's kids or like even being in the house because I know he kept saying like he'll be fine because he helped raise all his nephews. They've been with, in the same house with him since they were born. I'm like I literally have the same thing like my oldest sister has six kids. I've been around all of them since they were born and we've lived together since they were birthed. So I was like bro I'm literally telling you when you have your own child it is completely different than even being around a newborn taking care of somebody else's newborn like is just physically exhausting okay but very much so very rewarding so yeah that is in their sleep not like not i do want to get him on the schedule as soon as possible and i feel like don't allow anyone to tell you that they're too young for this and that because Layden was going to sleep at nine o'clock since he was born um so i'm gonna let him do his little few days but i'm scheduled okay because you need to learn night and day fast so i can sleep and his brother can come home because once we learn night and day mommy won't be sleep deprived and i will have time for both of my babies y'all i got two kids That's so good. <laughs> but yeah i love my babies I can't really laugh it hurt to laugh i have yet tried to sneeze i've been having to like stop it and hold it before i try because i know sneezing gonna hurt coughing hurt yeah i can't really laugh but that did give me a little giggle because <laughs> i've been walking fast on the low. But yeah, I think that will conclude the video. Thank you guys so much for all the love that you've sent, are gonna send. I've been seeing all the congratulations, safe delivery prayers, all of that. It's just really hard trying to get back to every single person. Um, but we really, really, really do appreciate it. We love you guys. Like I said, you will be seeing your internet nephew very soon, okay? Um, thank you guys for being a part of this journey. I know it wasn't that long of a journey and it was always so sparse, 
and spread out but i really do appreciate y'all and i really do appreciate y'all giving me time to just enjoy my pregnancy outside of the internet and just enjoy baby and my little family okay but yeah i will see you guys in my next video and on that note i love you guys bye